Wow, look at those mackerel skies. Mares tails and mackerel skies, tall ships reduce sail. Our last 24 hours in mainland Grenada are absolute manic. Steve manages to sort out the expansion tank leak. Our rusty chain is really, really causing us problems. We're excited to get the call from Rolling Stitches to go and pick up our cushion covers. And we decide before we leave Grenada that we'd like to take some drone footage of how beautiful this island is. We are Steve, Annette and Gus. And in our tiny Venus 46 catch, we are sailing as far as we can for as long as we can. We sailed the Med for two and a half years and now we're in the Caribbean, just about to start our second season. So last week we got Gus's rabies jab done. Winter is setting in and our first lightning storm of the season. We provision up and find our Christmas decorations. Our cushions are still not done, but we did make a new bean bag and Steve regassed the fridge. It's Saturday tomorrow, buy a penny gun, get behind a policeman and shoot him up the barn. Yeah, I'm idle. Anyway, I'm going to get told off in a minute if I don't concentrate. All we seem to have done for the last couple of weeks is go backwards and forwards between here and Woburn Bay, which is the very southern end of Grenada. We're in uh, Grand Mal at the moment. But this is our last trip now. We're on our way back down. We'll be, be picking up, it's Saturday today, be picking up all of our cushions on Monday. And then we're heading back round to here, one quick shop, and to pick up my migraine tablets. And then we're off up to Karakou. And that'll be our last few days now in Grenada. But looking forward to the next season. Morning from Woburn Bay on Sunday the 28th of October 2023. Lots of reef over there. We've anchored here, we've anchored here a couple of times, but we've anchored here in about 18 meters. So we have to put out more chain. When we put out more chain, we get to the nasty bit of chain. That's really good. Anyway, I'll take you up and show you. When we anchor in deep water, like 17, 18 meters, I've got to put out 70 meters of chain. Putting 70 meters of chain out means I'll get into the really nasty bit. It flakes a bit, so it does this. Not very good, so I have to do this. Crack my chain a bit at a time in the Hoover or vacuum. I think the chain's still plenty strong enough, it's just like the outside one millimetre that flakes off and rust when it forms it kind of expands anyway so it's not like one metre of solid metal, it's one metre of, that's what I tell myself anyway. That's better. Hi, welcome back to stiflingly hot Grenada. <laughs> Again. 
Um, I've got my Perkins pants on. Mr. Perkinson has decided to, having all the engine problems that we've got over, has decided to have a fresh water leak from that little bit down in there. So that's the expansion tank, and which is the fresh water side of the cooling system for the engine. It loses about between one and two litres every time we put the engine on. So <laughs> it's a little, it holds eight, so it loses 25%. So uh, I'm affecting a repair. The, the bit that was in there has rusted away. It's obviously something that's been clouded by the other things that were going on with the engine and the water leaks. So the fact that there was a lot of water around has hidden it. But I've, uh, I've managed to make use of the John Guest pipe got hanging around. That earlier on we made the camera cover for, or camera mount. I've cut a bit of that up. And mounted the rubber that will go through there and then the other rubber will go on the top I'm going to use some of this JB water weld and then as a belt and braces I'm going to throw some of that polyurethane glass sealant on top of it as a complete budget up but can't get hold of another another expansion tank funnily enough Perkins changed the design for the next model up they made it metal not this plastic with a funny seam on it so anyway i'll show you when it's done yeah, let the dog see the rabbit shut up shut up oh get out of my private place i've been violated So the expansion tank's all done. Uh, we did a short run round from Prickly Bay to Grand Mal, so about five or six miles. Got the engine up to temperature. Um, we've let it cool down. I'll go in and see whether the repair was a success. Not the prettiest repair, and I had to use when in there. It rusted badly. I found another one that would do. I managed to drop that in the bilge, and it's stainless steel, and I can't get it back out at the moment. That's where the water was coming out of around that stud and seems to be absolutely fine. Dry, dry, dry. Should we call that one a success? Another success was regassing the freezer. We bought the uh bought the gauges. I watched a few YouTube videos on how to we do it. We didn't, you did. Uh, particularly um, Emily and Clark or Emily and Clark's adventure um, watch there's very clever guy and uh, his was really easy to follow easy to understand and I basically did what he did and it's jumping around a bit maybe on the camera but it's sitting at minus 14 and got a lot of stuff in it but it's frozen and we're really happy. We're on the other side of Hog Island. Uh, Steve's going to see if he can get his drone out. We are over there. It's not very sunny today, very overcast, but it's still mighty warm. That's our dinghy over there. We were going to let Gus have a run round on the beach, but unfortunately, as we turned up, I'd say about 50 other people turned up for a big barbecue. So we've left them to it and moved up the hill. That island over there is Calvini Island. It's a private island. Uh, and I did say, I think we said before, that there's a beautiful, beautiful kind of Asian looking hotel on there. And it's a bargain because it's $132,000 a night, more than our boat cost. Gus is in there. <laughs> you can't see him. I even I can't see him. Oh, I can just see the tip of his tail. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. where, did, where did you go? He's jumping like a rabbit. <laughs> well, the drone flying was a complete non-starter. Get over there, play around with it. I can't get it to do whatever it's meant to, well, <laughs> I can't get it to fly. The reason it won't do what it's meant to do is 
it's too near an airport. So we'll try again when we're not near an airport. Ah, we were just off, just off to go and pick up the cushions. I don't think so somehow. Hopefully it's just kind of 10 minutes and then it'll be gone. Fingers crossed. Looks a bit more than 10 minutes though. This is either winter coming or it's something to do with the hurricane which is on the other side of wow I don't know if they're gonna be able to hear me whoa it's that could be the hurricane which is on the other side of the Caribbean at the moment kind of towards Mexico very lucky today because Steve's had half a shave don't you half a shave is better than no shave yeah. half a job again That was me wiping away a tear. I'm the one that's always crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's always crying. <laughs> yeah, crying with laughter. Take two. So try again. We've got to go a little bit further this time. Look, look how much rain there was in that short time. Off of the bean bag. No, oh, that's it now. All the cushions picked up. Really pleased. And we'll do a great unveiling of it. I'm quite excited because we've had the same old skanky cushions for so long. And uh, yeah, it make it look very, very different. So that's it, all the jobs done. Well, apart from the windows and the hatches have got to be redone because they're still leaking. Um, other than that, we're ready. We're finished with Grenada and we're on our way to Karaoke. Join us next week for a fabulous sail up to Karaoke and we finally check out of Grenada and start heading towards Martinique. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget guys, if you've enjoyed the episode, leave us a comment and give us a like. A massive thank you to our coffee and Patreon supporters. We really appreciate your support. Cheers guys and have a good week. It's, it's, you know, we've got everything closed up and it's really humid. Jesus. It's, so it's, you are absolutely revolting. Uh, no, no, but I missed a poo yesterday. What's that got to do? Well, no, it has got something to do yeah. with it, hasn't it? So I'm it a little has. bit, I'm like compacted. So Come on, pass me that chair. Jeez, uh, don't do it again. <laughs> don't do it again. I'm... It's making my eyes. Yeah, well, good. I'm glad it makes your eyes water. It's my eyes. I'm glad. Yes. I do love you. You do. Uh, that's good. I love you too. I'm a bit, a bit, bit hungry. Oh yeah. We we only had salad for dinner, didn't we? Lunch, didn't we? And you're only getting that for dinner. It was only a small salad as well. That's all you're getting for dinner. You shared one tin between us, didn't you? Yeah, but it was a big tin. <laughs> it was a big tin of tuna. It was. It was a large tin of tuna. It wasn't a large tin of tuna. <laughs> it was. It was. You know, one of those ones that's kind of about that deep. No, don't get it out now. It'll be filthy. It's so small, I can't even see it. Look at him, he's going through the bin. He's going through the bin to try and find the tin of tuna. And it's so small I can't find it. <laughs> I know exactly where it is. <laughs> right, that's a decent sized tin of tuna for both of us. bigger than I thought but it doesn't feel it now. Doesn't feel it now, no. The old stomachatron is telling me Okay, so